obviously in a very, very, very comfortable lead. So it's featherweight semi-final one and is our eighth fight of this evening's session. A session in which we will have 17 fights in total. We already have, we already did three, five semi-finals involving women, two in the 50 kg category. We saw Bola Romese of Algeria beat the Moroccan opponent in the first semi-final. Additional Zena of Nigeria also was a winner over Liberia's Van Bule. Then came the women's 57 kg semi-final. Salmini Shahira of Algeria was a victor over Kenusi of Botswana. Then after a 5-2 controversial decision in the eyes of many, but not the Nigerian fans here, Nene Ojo Joy also defeated Limi Kumu of Tunisia in the second semi-final of the 57 kg department. We also saw Patricia Mbata, also of Nigeria, in the women's 75 kg only semi-final. That's a category where we had only three reps in the entire competition. So the three of them straight into the medal zone and one is actually drew one actually drew the bar into the final and is waiting for whoever won the Mbata versus Grandman of Mozambique fight and as we saw the Nigerian did win it at the very end, very end of that fight and she stood to the final. As well we also saw the 48 kg category where Ghana's Mohamed Aite is a contender. The first fight out was innocent to Simen of Uganda defeating Kogo Diaz leaving to Lembe. Zola after review 4 3. And afterwards, we saw Mohamed Ayin stay put up a splendid show in Sea of the Moroccan, a Saudi Hamza. And we've come to the end of this fight number 8 of this evening session. It's fight number 133 of Accra 2023 boxing. And the Nigerian, after you know, comfortably taking the rounds of number one and two, five, zero, all scorecards, both rounds, he is surely going to take this one and right after the final. He is the man who is going to parry to represent Africa in this very division. So let's hear what our judges settle down. Correct. Right. Oh,